Good morning. I want to say thank you, first of all. Yeah. For all, everything I've listened to, it's always helped me. Yeah. The one question I have is, I always help people because I learned a long time ago helping people is what we're supposed to do. And I always got a lot of pleasure from that. What I need to know is how I can honor commitments to other people a lot easier than I can honor commitments to myself. Well, that's the conversation that we had with our friend just now, because since it's attraction, 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 that means you think they're more worthy of the help than you are. So you don't let yourself be open and receiving of it because there's something sort of stuck in there. Also, when you think about everything that we're talking about here today is about being resistance free and you have less resistance in regards to others than you do in regards to yourself. So it's easier for you to focus because other people's questions and problems are more general to you. And so your energy is cleaner or clearer or purer or more clarified when you focus upon them because their problems don't get in the way of your desire for them but your problems get in the way of your desire for yourself because you've practiced thinking about those problems more better way of saying it is your problems are more active within you than their problems. So it's more rewarding for you to utilize the energy that creates worlds and flow it towards someone else. But you said something that we want to clarify a little bit right in your opening words. You said, because we're supposed to help others and that implies that others aren't capable of helping themselves. It implies that you're the only one hooked to the stream. We know you didn't mean that and we're making a bigger deal of it than you deserve, but you do that. <laughs> everyone has an inner being. And so the greatest help that you could give someone is by demonstrating your ability to hook up, which means the greatest help that you could be to someone else is to demonstrate your ability to feel good now, to feel good now, to feel good now, to feel good now, to feel good now. To feel good now in fact to practice feeling good so much of the time that when a knee-jerk situation happens and there's something that's really bumping up against you and not feeling good that you feel good anyway and others acknowledge that so you become known as someone who has good sea legs who always maintains your balance and who's always nice to be around and so as they acknowledge that and then they begin asking you what is it that you know you're able to then say things like well I learned a long time ago that I cannot or should not control the circumstances of the world around me. The only thing I can control is my response to it. And then I learned that I couldn't control my response to it. If I bumped right up into the middle of the situation and then tried to control my response, I was ill prepared to control my response like that. I learned that I had to get out there ahead of it. I learned that I had to practice my sense of worthiness and practice my sense of well-being and practice loving when it was easy instead of waiting until I'm in the middle of something that really challenges my ability to have love for someone. We like it that you want to help others. And we want to put this into very clear context. This is a universe that's based upon attraction and attraction means that if someone has a question that they are attracting the answer. So sometimes you might be part of the answer. If someone has a problem and you're right there, and you have a solution isn't that wonderful co-creation we call it win 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 so we think it's wonderful that you're helping and we think it's wonderful that you're tuned into that and we know for sure that the universe uses you in lots of ways and we don't mean uses you in that way we mean you are the handy and close-up cooperative component that can often be in the right place at the right time to lend a helping hand but there's a big difference between being there and every now and again being in the right place at the right time and helping someone and looking at someone who is perpetually in trouble and taking it upon yourself yourself to be the one who fixes it for them all the time because under those conditions you offer a sentiment a vibration you're saying you're literally saying I do this for you because I see you cannot do it for yourself and that's the opposite message that you're wanting to impart that's why you can feel there's something wonky about it you see so give us an example of something that comes up often that you're helping with and let's get out ahead of it all right I've always said that uh, everybody thinks they have a lot of friends but if you really want to find out how many friends you have call someone and ask them to help you move 
I'm that guy that helps you move. Let's start over with all of that. So let's acknowledge that we're in a moment and that we're thinking thoughts and that those thoughts have vibrational essences, which equal point of attraction. So now break that sentence down for us again, because it's something that you've said. It makes people laugh It's a clever thing. And if it's only lip service, then it doesn't matter, but it isn't only lip service. It's words that really speak to how you feel. So can you say it again? We know you can, cause you've practiced it thousands of times. <laughs> All right, let me try. Um, if you really want to know, if you really want to know how many friends you have. All right. So stop right there and think about what's the emotion behind that. I feel taken advantage of people don't really like me because they're under the influence of love and I'm their object of attention and they don't really like me because I'm likable or lovable or deserving of it. They like me because I'm a sucker. <laughs> they like me because I'm easy, easy. easy. So that is how you feel, but yeah. does that serve you? No. And is it really true? Sometimes it's true. Let us say that better. Is it always true? No, nothing's always anything. There are a lot of people in this room and yet we found you. How do you explain that? I said I was going to be here. I said, I just before I came back that I was coming up next. And did you say, if you really want to know, did you say that no, too? No, I didn't. I just said, I'm there. So, so that wasn't what was active in your vibration when that happened. No. Something else was active in your vibration when you were chosen from a lot of people in a room. So how do you explain that? Intent. It's I uh, intended to get up here because I had a question. Well, asking is part of it, but allowing is part of it too. But do you feel respected? Do you feel seen? I'm an Aries. I'm seen everywhere. That feels different than the guy that helps everybody move. Were you just making stuff up? Is that other thing not true at all? Because both things cannot be true at the same time. They can be true at different times. So which of these yous is the most dominant? The one that isn't really appreciated or loved, not really good friends, unless they need something from you, or I'm a really well aligned being who has great reason for being here. And I'm a cooperative component in this universe. And I have things to say that source energy acknowledges and source energy does want to play with me and co-create with me. Which of those are true? The latter. Yeah. So now do you want to go back to that other topic or did that question go away? That question went away. I, I understand I'm, I'm easy and, uh, I need to start thinking about me and my intent. Well, maybe, that's, maybe that's the message that comes through here. So now we've just started a new segment, segment intending a new page and you write, I'm easy. What does that mean? It's easy to take advantage of me. Or did you mean I'm a cooperative component? And I've got my life together and I'm in balance and I've got good sea legs and I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on. And I tap into infinite intelligence and I have a whole lot of resources that I like to share. And people recognize me as that guy who's focused and capable and willing. And so I'm one of the really good resources of this resourceful universe. And I like it when people recognize that and we win, win together. And one of my favorite things to do is to interact with others in meaningful ways where we bring the best of each other out. Is that what you meant? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Drop the mic. Can't you feel a whole different point of attraction? Absolutely. If you feel that way, nobody that's taken advantage of people is going to call you up because that's not the vibration you're offering. People that are going to call you are those people who really want a meaningful co-creative experience. And then it will be give and take in both ways. Awesome. Enough. Yes. Thank you. Point of attraction, point of attraction, point of attraction, point of attraction. Yeah. Point of attraction, point of attraction. You get to massage your point of attraction. You get to feel your way in to a point of attraction that will let into your experience things you really like when they get there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>